make money? Are you making money from the voice coach business? The way I'm supposed to make money, lie lie. You are not making yes. money. No, we are not making money. We are making sure that at least what I've done is we've been able to expand and get ourselves um, more noticed. You see, we live in a society where people are more diligent to spend money on goods and not services. What they can hold, eat, wear, and touch. But when it comes to service, which has to do with knowledge or you know training and grooming, people are quite reluctant to spend money. So this, for us, for me right now, these are the pioneering stages where you have to do the work to convince people that this is necessary and this is important. So I can't say I'm making money. So far, how many? Uh, so far, how many artists ha have you worked on? Uh, I can't name all the artists I worked on. At least I can give you an estimated percentage of between seventy and eighty percent okay. of artists in Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, and across the board. Uh, but if if you've you've been able to work with artists from Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, you should be able to make money. But first, my first uh, um, job with artists was more a labor of love. It's to show them that mm. this thing works. Okay. Most of the artists I work with haven't paid me, if you ask them. It was more like, okay, you know, I need this, you know, and I'm there for them. It's, it's few of them that, that have appreciated. But when it comes to the payment, no, I am making more money from training um, business people. Okay. who are beginning to realize that they need to know their voice because they are talking to people on Zoom, they are talking, you know, they are having all these meetings and some of them are realizing they don't like the tone of their voice and don't like to do something about it. Mm. Now I'm getting through to the business people, the politicians, the preachers. Uh, some of them are paying me for their services. Okay. The artists, are, uh, the new artists that are being supported by their families and, you know, serious management, yes, they are paying me. But the beginning stages, trust me, was a labor of love. Incredible. So do you sometimes get some of these um, A-list artists, uh, you know, coming to your end to, to have their voice being trained? Yeah, no, like I said, I have a relationship with a good number of them. Okay. Most of you, before they became whoever they were, that was when I was with them. Before she became Weala, before he became Kiddy, before he became Mr. Drew, before he became Creamy, before... You know, you know, while they were still struggling, you know, and that was when I was with them okay. and set them up, you know, and set them and push them and encourage them, you know. So, yeah, of course, you know, some, you know how our, 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 our people are. Sometimes some people don't mm. mention, but some, people, some of them are gracious enough to mention that, hey, you know, okay. at some point in my life or every now and then, you know. Uh, this person has been there for me to do this for me. Okay, so so the creamies, then the the Drews and the kiddies, and the realize. Um, yeah, daughters of glorious Jesus, Tamini. So yeah, the list goes on and on. <laughs> have they been paying their dues? Adina. Ad yeah, Adina. <laughs> those. So it means that you've been able to work with some of these uh, A-list artists. Yes. Um, yes. Do they come around to at least pay their dues or something? No, no, not not mostly. Every now and then we say hi on social media, but very few people come around. They are busy. Camido. They are busy, eh? Yeah. They are busy. They are busy making yeah. money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>